Okay guys, uh, welcome back again to the channel. So first of all, before we go any further, I apologize if the video is gonna get a little bit long because um, usually I try to get everything out so you guys won't miss anything and in this case it means that I have the tendency of over explaining myself uh, uh, about the stuff that I want to say but yeah I just want to make sure that I have everything for you guys so you are clear with everything that I say anyway I'm gonna try and keep it short so let's move on so recently you might have known if you follow my channel of course that um, I have uh, started playing again with uh, CSR uh, 2 it's been like uh, two months now and uh, in this uh, short period of time I came across uh, a thing that is um, really really good and really really uh, strange that no one else has talked about it at least I have searched from videos uh, uh, for this on the internet maybe I wasn't able to find them but basically uh, to tell you guys the best car of the game especially for the new people that start with the game but also for the mid game players but even if uh, with um, uh, with end game players basically people that play for years I mean uh, having a car that you can do almost everything with no effort at all that is going to be the best car of the game or we can say the best car to farm in the game because here you can farm gold you can farm parts you can farm money of course that is known in almost every game and um, yeah believe it or not there is a car that you can get very very early in the game. I was able to get this car uh, within the first the first month of the game and I highly suggest especially the new people to get this car and yeah obviously it's uh, the NSX here as you see the NSX R in this case. It is a legend car you can buy it really really cheap you can buy it directly from the dealer so basically if we go to the dealer you will see that you can buy this car with money or with gold if you have enough gold obviously if you farm uh, you can uh, farm money of course uh, uh, by playing but I would suggest if you start a new game you save as much as you can you farm as much as you can with the other cars get the GTO the GTO it's a legendary car that you're gonna get for free uh, level up that car as much as you can do not spend any other parts in any other Ferrari just max the GTO tier 2 car because that car is going to rip into the live races and it's going to help you gather money and gather keys uh, mostly so you're going to get more parts uh, so basically go, basically go for that and as soon as you have a spot available in the legendary garage do not uh, buy any other car but gather the money and uh, watch as many ads as you can to fill up the uh, the tank and make the money to get the NSXR this should be your second purchase of the game if you can of course because you're gonna get tier 2 cars you're gonna get tier 3 cars no problem this is a tier 4 car and you can buy it with money so go immediately for this car do not fill up your legendary spots with other cars because then you're not going to be able to buy this car until you fully restore one of the cars that you have in your garage and then you can buy because unfortunately the legendary uh, garage uh, is with limited spots first you have one that you have two so after you get the second spot in the garage go immediately get uh, this car now the main reason obviously why you need to go after this car well of course it's fast it's really fast mostly it's fast with uh, any uh, type of upgrades that you might have on the car I have mine here with all stage 5 upgrades. I recently installed a stage 6, but actually you don't need any stage 6 to win every race with this car because again, it's really fast. Most importantly, this car is uh, it's a really fast after you go to 200. So basically, uh, it's not very fast from 0 to 200 kilometers an hour, but after you go to 200 kilometers an hour and then you go to the maximum speed of this car with stage 5 that it can go to 325 because unfortunately without uh, fully restoring it you cannot change the gear ratio. Uh, this car it's a really really uh, fast or let's say uh, it has a really really fast acceleration especially from 200 to 300 which means when most of the cars especially cars tier 4 or less are gonna stop 
over 200 kilometers an hour basically stop in some cases they they climb up in speed really really slowly this car will keep on going after 200 like it was going from 0 to 200 so uh, that is the key speed of this car and if you look at uh, the rank of uh, the fastest car of the game you will find out that this is one of the fastest i think it's the second fastest or i don't know but in tier 4 it's the fastest car and it can rip off even most of tier 5 cars so basically it is a really fast car so this is uh, of course one of the reason why you should get uh, uh, this car first of all because you can buy it and second of all because obviously it's fast now the second reason why you need to buy this car well of course it is a legend car which means you can use this to farm in legend races you can use it to farm in fusion trials in any championship or race that it is allowed for you to use this car no matter if you're playing against tier 4 tier 5 cars you are going to beat 99 percent of uh, all the guys even in one uh, even in half mile races where basically the half mile is a little bit worse for this car because it has a limited speed of 325 kilometers per hour where basically some tier 5 cars can go over 400 kilometers per hour but again the speed the uh, we uh, this car goes from 200 to 325 which is the maximum speed it's much much faster than any other tier 5 cars well, well most of them of course uh, so basically you are gonna uh, even gonna win in half mile races but for uh, for uh, uh, quarter mile races is going to be even easier again of course you're gonna have faster cars uh, tier 5 and tier 4 uh, but uh, the problem that if they are not viable with money most of, of them they are not viable with money you have to win them you have to spend keys and everything else or gold and you have to spend a lot of money to fully upgrade them and this one not only doesn't need the stage 6 upgrades for you to farm like crazy in every race that it is allowable for you to use this car but you can uh, basically yeah use it uh, everywhere again against tier 4 tier 5 it's not going to be a huge problem now these are the easiest reason why this is the best car of the game and why you should use it to farm especially if you are at the beginning of the game but the main reason why I think this is the best car to farm and to win races is because this car is dead, dead easy to drive. You don't have to think about launch, perfect launch or any other launch. You don't have to think about perfect uh, gearing or any other type of gearing or a specific way of gearing. Uh, you don't have to think about nitros as you saw until now I use this this car without nitros in some cases using nitros is going to be slower because it will give you wheel spin if you're not careful so you have to think about that but in this case you don't have to think about that you don't have to think about gearing you can mess up all the gearing in some cases and you're still going to win in most of the cases so with other cars that obviously are going to be faster as we said if you mess up the launch or if you mess up one gear you're going to lose or if you mess up the nitro you're going to lose where with this car basically look at this I just keep on the gas pressed all the way up you don't have to think about anything the car will launch wait until 70 go to the next gear you can mess up the gears as you saw here I just put it to fifth and you're still going to win it's it's dead dead easy it's so so forgivable which means uh, you, d you can do basically something else while driving this car. So me, myself, as I work on my PC, I keep my phone under my desk, I keep the, the phone pressed, I just um, launch the, fi the five gears and I let the car run and I do something else with my PC. So it's dead, dead easy to farm. You don't have to worry about anything. You just uh, go to the race where it is allowable to use this car and just go there. Here, I will mess up the gearing again. I will go immediately to fifth gear. I know these are easy races, but again, 99% of the races are going to be like this. You're going to win in every of them. It's going to be 
much much easier than with any other cars now again you can use it on legendary you can use it on fusion trials you can use it on other uh, championships or challenges that are going to be available so basically you can use this car everywhere of course there are going to be championships that they are locked with certain cars and you cannot use them uh, this car everywhere but where it is allowed you can use it and you can win very very easily you don't have to worry about anything again it's that that easy so now i don't want to make this uh, too long and again yeah i mean uh, you're gonna lose like one percent of the races of course because as you see i messed up really bad so yeah there you have it guys basically that was it especially if you are at the beginning of the game go for this car do not get any other legendary car so you won't feel the spot because again the spots are limited in this game i did the same mistake at the beginning i bought the cobra first before buying this car so i couldn't buy this one so i had to fully upgrade the gto and then being able to buy this car so if you have the chance to use the gto to farm until you get this car and not the another tier 3 car then go for it go for this car because it's going to be a life changer you are going to farm so so easy with this one in any other race but most of all you can also use it in legends to farm for parts so basically you are going to be able to restore other legend cars way way faster with uh, this one you can also win uh, tier 5 uh, regulation in races if you want by the way it's really really easy anyway i think i covered everything that uh, you need to know about uh, this car so go ahead uh, leave a like if you agree leave a dislike if you don't agree or if you don't like the video or the way how i do the videos i mean i know it's bad but it's still um an interaction with the channel anyway that is going to be it have fun with the game guys and if you want to join uh, my crew definitely let me know on the chat because i've made it uh, private recently because we get many many bots unfortunately we need points for that so if you want to join the crew let me know on the chat and uh, obviously you need to be active to be able to join the crew anyway that is going to be it. thank you again for watching guys and as usual i will catch you on the next one bye bye